Hi there guys, just finished the testing of the Kraser Lighting Quantum X100 grow light. Thanks to the guys at Kraser Lighting for sending this to me. They're based over in California and uh, yeah, just finishing up the test. So taking the spectrum now using the Sensitec Passport Spectra Radiometer and I'm using their app here the um, Spectrum Genius Agricultural Lighting app. And I'm just gonna take a test here. You might like to see it. So there we have the Spectrum recorded. It's not a great surprise. It's got the little enhanced bit of red on it. And it is uh, basically a 3.5K color temperature light, which is great. Uh, common to lots of manufacturers in, including ourselves at Migro. So yeah, full spectrum light, suitable from seed to flower. Really nice spectrum. It's got a great spread, you can see here. It is two strips of light arranged in a really nice um, extruded aluminium heatsink, passive heatsink. You can see the cooling fins up along there, I think. And mounted in the middle, under this plate, is the driver. I haven't taken it apart. This is to go back to the guys, so I don't want to mess it up on them. But a very solid piece of kit. Very nicely engineered. Uh, it's been on for some time now, and um, not much heat coming off it at all. Efficient fixture, and uh, yeah, really easy to set up. Got hooks on it, plug it straight into the mains, Driver will do um, 110 or 240 volt. It'll do either. And uh, yeah, really, really nice, solid light. Uh, in terms of the testing, I did a few different tests. I first tested in the manufacturer's recommendation, which is the 90 by 90 centimeter or three by three foot with uh, a hanging height of 45 centimeters or 18 inches. So I did that first. And um, yeah, it was uh, an okay result. It was a little bit low in terms of the average power. It was 215 average power, efficiency of 1.72. So I tried it just in it to up the power level in a smaller area. And first one I did was in a 60 by 60 at 30 centimeters height which is the minimum recommendation for the light is to hang at uh, minimum 12 inches. Now I did it at that, there wasn't very much hot spots in the middle, efficiency was 1.74. I thought we could squeeze a little bit out of it. So the sort of official result from uh, here is uh, hang in a 60 by 60 or a two by two grow area with of course the reflective mylar walls and that delivers an average power of 511, which is pretty nice and an efficiency of 1.8 ppfd per watt so you can see it here actually i think this is at uh, 20 centimeters height and right dead center we're getting about 780 which is uh, not a bad uh, optimum to be setting and it's fallen away to about 300 at the edges so works really well at that height i found it's what i would be uh, putting up and recommending and yeah, so uh, lovely light. They have lots of no other fixtures with uh, larger sizes and you know lower price per watt than the largest sizes, and they get very reasonable as they go up in size. And uh, yeah, I'd highly recommend it. An excellent light. Um, yeah, I'll be sending it back to the guys. Thanks to Jig again from Chrysler Lighting for sending it over, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. Take care.